Another mental math strategy is the compensation strategy. This strategy can be used for both addition and subtraction questions. Today we're going to look at how to use the compensation strategy to solve addition questions of two-digit and two-digit numbers. Before we begin looking at how to solve questions using the compensation strategy, we have to understand what a friendly number is. If we look at the number line below, our number line consists of all friendly numbers. Friendly numbers are numbers that end in fives and zeros because these numbers are easily added in our head without the need to write questions down on a piece of paper. If we look at the numbers from our question, we have to ask ourselves which one of these numbers is close to a friendly number. If we put 43 on the number line, we find that it is in between 40 and 45. If we put 59 on our number, not, number line, we notice that it is very close to 60. Therefore, 59 is a number that we can use to compensate because it's very close to a friendly number. When using the compensation strategy, we, what we're doing is borrowing from one number to turn another number into a friendly number. In this case, looking at 43 and 59, we know that 59 is close to the friendly number of 60. We need to ask ourselves, what do I need to add to 59 in order to get 60? The answer is 1. But that 1 needs to come from somewhere. We need to take it from the 43 in order to add it to the 59. So if I add 1 to 59, it becomes 60, but I got that from the 43. So we have to take 1 away from 43, and that gives us 42. 42 plus 60 is the same question as 43 plus 59. Now when we look at this question, it's much easier to add in our head and we can use other mental math strategies that we have learned such as the open number line or the front end strategy to help us solve this question. If we start with our friendly number of 60, using an open number line we can add 10, 20, 30, 40 which gives us 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then we add two more to give us a total of 102. Or we can use the front end strategy where we add our tens digits and our ones digits separately. Starting with our friendly number of 60, breaking apart 42 in its expanded form, we have 60 plus 40 equals 100 and adding the 2, 100, plus 2, equals 102. Therefore, the answer to the question 43 plus 59, or the answer to the question 42 plus 60, is 102. Let's try the compensation strategy with another example. 58 plus 34. When I think about those numbers, 58 is very close to the friendly number of 60. If I add 2 more to 58, I can jump to that friendly number of 60. If I take 2 away from 34, that allows me to change the 58 into a 60. 58 plus 2 equals 60. I took the 2 away from the 34, so my new number instead of 34 is 32. 60 plus 32 is the same as 58 plus 34. Now I can use my other mental math strategies to help me answer this much easier question. Starting with 60, I break apart the 32 in its to expanded form. 60 plus 30 equals 90 and 90 plus 2 equals 92. 
or using an open number line I start at 60, jump up 30, 10, 20, 30 to get to 90 and add two more to get to 92. The compensation strategy is best used when you have numbers in your question that are very close to friendly numbers. When asking yourself whether or not the compensation strategy is a good strategy to use, you need to ask yourself, do the numbers in my question end with a 1, a 2, and 8, or a 9? Numbers that end in 1, 2, 8, and 9 are numbers that are closest to the most friendly numbers, which are numbers that end in zeros. Although you can use the compensation strategy for any and all questions, it is a much easier strategy to use when you have questions that have numbers in it that end in 1, 2, 8, and 9. Looking at the two questions as examples above, ask yourself which question should I consider using the compensation strategy for? 34 plus 46 or 49 plus 33. Although the compensation strategy can be used for both problems, it is a much better solution to use the compensation strategy for a question such as 49 plus 33 because 49 is so close to the friendly number of 50.